Down you go. Next down. Oh, squirrel. Goodbye. <laughs> down you go. Oh, yes. Doing a bit of roof shooting now. Now shooting season's finished. I'm back on the same estate with the 250 bird day that went with the estate. We're onto pigeons and there's a lot flying about. So we're gonna try and clear these out. There's numbers have picked up because they've not really been getting shot targets at shooting season. There's not just me, there's another there's another few groups of lads dotted about, so we'll probably hear a few distant gunshots. Got myself a bit of camouflage kit. We'll get set up. And then Chris Gamekeeper has told me about a few few flight lines and best routes to take, so you can probably already hear me at distance shooting. I'll get set up and we'll get cracking. There's a lot flying about up here. There's some guys, it sounds like there's some guys in this woods here and they're flying in here. So we'll try and get underneath this. Try and get them coming in, because if these guys scare them off, they'll come directly to us. You just gotta be very careful with what you shoot here, or it's because there's pheasants and partridge still knocking about. And with this being such a big estate, there's a lot of wildlife here. You don't want to shoot the wrong thing and get yourself in bother. I don't want to shoot at these because they're a little bit high and then scare the rest off. I'd rather wait for a certain shot because they're not going anywhere these, they're just circling about. So this woods that we're on the way to now here is the one that the gamekeeper says is a bit of a flight path that flies down side here. They just advised this is best place for it. So we'll get in here because they'll naturally be flying down here anyway and because there's people shooting it might even push even more over this way you'll not be able to see but there's plenty flying about above these trees so if there's people in here that'll work in our favour yeah, you can see the size of this estate over at distance there is the main house where you come into the estate you can maybe just pick out some car headlights that's your main road and it's just as big in every direction here so there's no public disturbance either so not on this bit anyway oh, there's loads flying about up here I'm hoping you can see them there's probably about 20 or so flying about one up here yeah here we go Again, you've got to be careful because there's pheasants running about down here. Seems to be quite a lot of activity around here. So I'm just going to get pogged out here and stay out of sight. As soon as they see movement, they're not going to like it. Just stay still, see if they'll come in. I am well and truly in cover here, basically in a bush and just looking out into this bit of sky. I've only been here a couple of minutes, I've already had a, I've already had a shot at one, so I might stay here for a while, see how I get on. It's good that they're shooting at distance, because it might make them come from them woods over to these, and those shots are over there. I've just got to keep an eye out over here now.
that's a gonnet. First one at date. I've definitely found my pog. I don't know if I clip that. That's down. That's another one. I've only been this pog five minutes. I've shot at three and hit two. I'm probably going to stay here for a while until I get wise to where I am. And then maybe look to move in about, I don't know, half an hour, an hour, whenever they stop coming in, really. This is what I can see from in here and then if you look round I'm literally there's a backdrop to me so I'll not be able to see them if they're coming from behind the thing as well if there's dead pigeons laying about if other pigeons see them they'll not want to come in a little fact for you as well pigeons have got a 340 degree field of vision so if you sat there thinking oh they'll not see me here because I'm at side room or near enough behind them I guarantee you they will uh, there it is first one let's stick that down there I'll get that later Same again now, I'm just going to get welded in these bushes. <laughs> See if we have any joy. Like an absolute amateur, I've put my shot cam on and it's got no battery. Oh, what's this? What is this? Oh, f***ing safety, f***ing head. Bloody hell, it's like driven pigeon shooting this. This is definitely the pog to be in. I'm which they're surrounded by trees here. So my only field of vision is up. Oh, it's flown. I'm starting off using these dark storm bio wads, which is just what I had left from shooting season, and then we're going to get onto clear pigeon cartridge to see how well they do. I think that saw me just before I pulled trigger then. So it's starting to get a little bit dark now. So we might wanna, they might want to naturally come into woodlands anyway. So I definitely don't want to be moving about at this point. I'm just going to stay low. And see if anything comes in because they are flying about now. That's landing in a tree. Oh, it's gone. That just goes to show how well hidden I am. Fortunately for that, it landed on the other side at branch, so I couldn't shoot it. It's a good sign though. Good sign we're in a good pog. Also, with what I was saying about coming into roost, that's just proof that it's coming to land. Just turned away from me that. Down you go. That's 
make a move down there. They're coming into land now, these. I think that's a pheasant. There's something like that, isn't it? Is it? Got light starting to drop. I just shot one out of the tree. As long as you stay hidden and you're getting a decent pog, we'll start landing all around you. I'm just going to head down to this bit of woods here. Because I've seen a few circling about, so they might be circling because they're trying to land. This looks like a nice place here, this bush. Let's have a go at that. A good sign, there's a cartridge stuck in bush here. Someone's been here before. And another one there. Another one that's landed in a tree over there. I've literally just come over from there. Onto the clear pigeons we go. What are you doing? Come on. I think if they start coming over in decent bunches now, I'm just going to leave them and see if they come into land. Odd one I might take a shot at, unless it looks like it's going to come and land, but I want them to be in these woods. Well and truly hid in this bit. They're all like head height trees, so I'm just looking up and over into the sky here. So they'll probably not see us until they're pretty much on top of us. So if there is anything flying here, I'm hoping it lands in these trees above. This rain seems to have quietened things off a bit. I can't hear any other gunshots from other woods. And there's not a lot flying about in here. But they are somewhere. I'm just thinking if I start moving about, if there's trees above, they'll fly off. And it'll like this. Are you coming back? Nope. But that might start things off again. So that's flown down there now, so if someone shoots it, it might scare all theirs out and we'll start knocking them backwards and forwards to each other again. We're flying about again now. We've got a few shots going off so. The plan might have worked a little bit. Now, hold on. I'm going to get myself a seat. This is a nice pog. There's another one coming in. Got myself a nice little seat here now. Decent backdrop. Clear skies in front. There's a few gunshots going off in distance now, so they might start moving around again. I have seen a few try to land in these trees when I weren't sat here. So hopefully this one here. One's just flown past. It didn't look like it saw me. That was loads. There's a couple just landed in a tree on the far edge of this woods. A little bit out of range, but if it goes a bit quiet, I'll have a walk over and get them up. Oh, what's this doing? Oh, land man. I should have probably shot at that, but I thought it might have come into land. One's just got lucky then it 
it landed in a tree but it, I had to move to see it and as soon as I moved it took off straight over there's something about this bit of woods they don't want to land in they're just flying straight over it might have a might have a little bit of a move around that's down Even after, even after I left my safety catch on. And another. I'll be honest, I can see why people rave about these clear pigeons. It's just took them out, no problem. I'm too impatient to try and let them land. I'm just going to adopt the attitude of if it flies near me, I'm shooting it. I thought I had you then. The thing I like about moving around is because I've not been down here, I've always been up, I've been up there from start. So I've always had in my mind, have I just created a bit of a safe zone down here? And from the mountain that's been flying around, I, I probably did. So now I might just wait here for a bit until there's nothing happening and then move back oh you son of a bitch, my safety again are you landing? land, go on land This is the first time I've shot sat down this. It's proven a bit difficult, especially when they're flying straight overhead. And go lean back and there's nothing to support me. Definitely making excuses for myself, like, but here we are. That's down. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that was some distance away in that tree. Clear pigeon cartridge, steel, half joke. Goodbye. Down you go. Oh, yes. 
pretty sure I hit that twice. And that branch definitely seen it off. Scare them off. Don't want them to create a little safe zone over there. It's out of my view. And range. That dropped, but I've never seen it hit floor. I don't know whether I got that. That's down. Yep, I heard that thud. You lucky little... Is that a bit? No, surely not. There's something about that tree that I can't hit him in. There's just that many branches or whatever in the way, I don't know. They always come from behind me and I don't see them coming. There about four landed in that tree at distance and I didn't want them to settle I was never going to hit them through all that and I couldn't really see them to be honest but I just didn't want them landing and settling Down you go Where did that go? Don't tell me it's stuck in tree. Oh, squirrel. 
Goodbye. Oh, that's stuck in tree. Hey. I'll be honest, you lot out there that are really good at shooting pigeons, I'll take my hats off to you. Probably at about 10, 10 pigeons and a squirrel, something like that. Oh, there's another one landed in that tree. A lot more success. Now that light's dropped a little bit. I've probably had a good 20 shots just in this place here. Probably close to 30 with the amount of cartridges I've got next to me. They're all coming in now. I think if it gets any darker, they'll be in trees and we'll, we'll won't have noticed them. But they're definitely coming in. What's that making that racket? Can't be having you settling in them trees, I'm afraid. I'm gonna get another 15 minutes here. See if much else happens because we're losing light quick. And it's a good 15, it's a good 15 minute walk back to where we've come from. I don't want to do that in dark. Make no, pitch black anyway. In fact, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna have a walk back. It's not been a bad little pog. We're going to call it a day. See if we can get anything else to, to flush up on his way back. A little bit of an experiment now, because we've not been over this side at Woods for a good hour. And because we've lost light, there might be quite a bit nesting in here, roosting rather. So just a bit of an experiment. We'll see if anything flies off. Nope. That's a good sign there's nothing here. Either that or they're incredibly stupid. Successful little evening that. Uh, I'm unsure about a few I'd probably have to probably have to have a look back at camera. Uh, but I reckon I've got about ten in total and that squirrel. And obviously there's not just me doing it. I don't know how many of those out but with gunshots there's at least like five or six of us, so we've done a little little bit of clearing out there, so a good one that. I'm gonna be doing a few more videos like this because I think they do this every weekend at Wentworth. So I'll come again and do a few more. Uh, so if you have if you have enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up guys and I'll see you on the next one.